Hi, I'm Kyle with Freezing Point, the makers of Frazzle. This video is designed to help you install a Frazzle machine and set up a location for the best in-store Frazzle experience. During an installation, the installer does the following. Install and program the Frazzle machine. Set up a cup rack. Set up the hanging sign and price card sign where the retailer allows it. Train staff to mix product and clean the machine where the retailer allows it and individuals are available. Leave behind cleaning instruction sheet and service contact information. Before the installer starts, notify the store staff that the tech needs to speak with an employee to train and inform them how to care for the Frazzle machine. As an installer, please train in-store employees by doing the following. Share the Frazzle training videos. Access the videos from our website. Have them watch you set up one side of the machine completely. Demonstrate proper use of the machine and how to program the correct settings on the menu. Inform them that the machine should always be at least half full. If the retailer does not have enough product in the machine, it may wear down the motor and pins and result in machine downtime. Inform them that if the machine is leaking, it may ruin the condenser, sensors, compressors, and circuits and should be treated immediately. Educate them to regularly clean the air filter or it may cause the machine to not freeze. We recommend cleaning the filter every 15 days. 30% of the calls we receive from customers reporting a machine not freezing are due to a dirty filter. Frazzle branded machines, whether Frazzle owned or customer owned, must only use Frazzle branded product. Frazzle retailers participating in the bundle program can receive free marketing materials, machine parts, and other resources by placing an order on our Shopify website. Customer owned Frazzle retailers should also visit our website to access free marketing materials and other parts and resources as needed. Explain that the retailer orders their product, cups, lids, and straws through their distributor. The installer will receive three boxes, a Frazzle machine base unit, a hopper kit, and an install kit. Inside the install kit, you receive one sleeve of each cup and lid size, one case of straws, one case of mixing jugs, six per case, five gallons each of two flavors, cup rack, one price sign, two flavor tag holders, Frazzle hanging sign kit, which includes six S hooks, two V hooks, two plastic sign connectors, six feet of chain, two price signs, one set of price sign stickers, one Frazzle sign, and two Frazzle logos. Cleaning and maintenance guide, and Frazzle 5 marketing collateral with double stick tape. Please review the installation guide before installing the machine. The installation guide is inside the install kit. This guide will provide a step-by-step -step process for how to properly install the Frazzle machine. Step one, assemble the machine. Please assemble the machine with a retail representative so they understand how to properly maintain the machine. Take the machine out of the box and set it on the counter. Ensure the legs are set to the proper height. The legs should be even or set to slightly slope forward to prevent spilled or leaked product from leaking back into the machine. Remove the eye bolt from the bottom of the machine. This should only be used for shipping and may damage the compressor if not removed. Plug the machine in to verify the outlet is working. The machine requires a dedicated 120 volt 20 amp circuit. Extension cords cannot be used. There should be at least six inches distance between the back of the machine and the wall. Remove the A-frame supports. Recently, the machine manufacturer released a new version of the hopper seal. Both seals work well, but depending on which seal you have, it needs to be installed differently. The primary difference between the two seal types is a large groove through the entire seal with small ribs on the inside as opposed to a flat back. If your seal has this large groove, it needs to be installed directly onto the hopper by fitting the back opening of the hopper into the groove on the seal. Ensure the seal is tightly fitted to the back of the hopper opening so that there are no gaps between the seal and the hopper. Check around the hopper to make sure the seal isn't pinched or bubbled up anywhere. The hopper is then installed onto the machine and pressed securely against the seal. Inspect the seal to ensure there are no gaps or pinches between the seal and the hopper. If the seal is pinched, it will cause the product to leak out of the machine. If your seal does not have this groove, it is installed directly onto the machine by pressing the larger flat side of the seal completely flush around the back of the cylinder before installing the white auger as follows. This is the most important piece of the machine as it keeps all the product inside of the hopper. Slide the auger onto the cylinder and turn until the auger clicks into the slotted part of the machine shaft. Once in place, you won't be able to turn the auger with your hand. Push down on the cylinder to level the barrel. This will help prevent tank seal leaks by keeping pressure on the top portion of the seal. Place the auger nose bushing in the front of the hopper. Sliding the hopper over the cylinder, push back firmly until the tank drops into place and locks. Carefully place the faucet seal and the spring into the faucet. 
The seal is designed to fit in only one direction. Slide the faucet into place on the hopper, taking care not to move the faucet seal out of place. Ensure that you have not pinched the hopper seals. A pinch seal will cause the product to leak out of the machine. Attach the ADA handles by hooking them to the posts on the hopper. You may have to push the faucet down slightly to ensure the handle mechanism is in place. Place the drip tray on the machine. Insert the product sensor if your machine has one. Place the flavor tag holder from the install kit on the light lid between the vent and the screw. Remove the flavor tag found inside the product box and place it in the flavor tag holder. Place the light lid on top of the machine and plug it in. Every box of product purchased contains a new flavor tag. Replace the old tag with the new to keep the tags looking fresh and up to date. If the case of product is missing a flavor tag, contact Frazzle for a new tag. Step two, set up cup rack and cups. Each install kit will have a cup rack and an initial sleeve of 12, 20, and 32 ounce cups and lids. Load the cup rack with the cups and lids. Inside the install kit is a box of straws. Either place the straws next to the cup rack or use a 32 ounce cup and fill with straws. We also offer promotional cups like the double bubble cup, which have been highly successful in various markets. Step three, add product. Now that the machine is assembled, First, fill the hopper with water above the hopper seal to make sure that there are no leaks. Once you're positive there are no leaks, drain the water from the machine. You are ready to mix the product. Review the mixing instructions with the customer that are printed on the back of each package and front of each mixing jug. The ratio is one mixing jug of water to one pouch of product. Frazzle is a registered trademark and customers are required to run Frazzle product through their Frazzle brand and machine. Fill the mixing jug halfway full with warm water. Pour the contents of the Frazzle package into the mixing jug. Shake well until the mix is completely dissolved. Finish filling the mixing jug with cold water and shake until the product is thoroughly mixed. Turn the power button on by pushing the button on the top left of the LED screen. Push the snowflake button on the right and left sides until the screen says ICE in capital letters. This should turn on the augers as well, but if not, press the auger button until the auger starts to spin. The screen will say auger on. Pour the product into the hopper. Each hopper should be filled with three gallons of product. For a one machine install, do not fill both hoppers with the same flavor. The install kit comes with five gallons of two different flavors. Three gallons of each flavor should be mixed and placed in each hopper. Fill the hopper to the max fill line. A helpful hint is to keep two gallons of ready-made product in the cooler. This allows for a quick refill of the hopper. The colder the product when you add it to the machine, the faster it will freeze. Make sure the lights on the light lids are working after filling the hopper. Step four, set up machine settings. Please review and update the programming of the machine. Set the time to the proper time zone. You will need to know the location's opening and closing times. Locate the Ultra, Gourmet, and Ice buttons below the LCD screen. Hold the middle Gourmet button for six seconds to access the menu. Continue to navigate through the menu by pressing the Gourmet button. Please verify that the thickness level is set at eight. Press the Gourmet button until you arrive at the date and time settings. The ice and ultra buttons will allow you to adjust the date and time. Ask the retailer the opening and closing times and set the nighttime mode. Set the nighttime mode for when the location closes and set the daytime mode for when the store opens. It's important to set nighttime mode to avoid freezing between barrels and undesirable product color and consistency. We recommend setting it from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Please share this information with the retailer and ensure nighttime settings are input for at least four hours, even if they run 24 hours a day. Press the Gourmet button until the display reads PM complete. Press the ice button to say yes, which will automatically take you to the six month PM screen. Please verify that the six month PM notification is turned to off. Step five, hang the header sign. Peel the paper from the back of the Frazzle logo to expose the adhesive surface. Center the Frazzle logo onto the dotted box and press down firmly. Slide the two plastic sign connectors into the slot on top of the Frazzle sign. Thread the S-hook into the plastic side connector. Measure the chain to the desired length. Using needle nose pliers, pry open a link of the chain. Connect the V-hook to the suspended ceiling frame. Attach the chain to the V-hook. Step six, hang the pricing sign. Attach retail stickers to the price sign. Frazzle's suggested retail prices are $1.29 for 12 ounce, $1.99 for 20 ounce, and $2.99 for a 32 ounce. 
using two S hooks, hang the pricing sign in the lower corner of the frazzle sign. Also included is a countertop price sign. If both the hanging and countertop price signs are displayed, be sure the prices match. Step seven, hang the machine user and maintenance guide. It's critical the retailer understands the daily and monthly maintenance on the machine. The guide outlines how to mix product, daily maintenance, how to use the control board to help them properly operate the machine, and steps they should take before calling for service. The guide also includes instructions for how to disassemble the machine, clean the machine, and reassemble the machine monthly. The machine should be cleaned every 30 days. Please take adequate time to walk the customer through the process of caring for the machine. Customers who understand how to clean the machine will have fewer issues with the performance of their machine and higher sales. Hang the user and maintenance guide in a prominent position in the back room where retail representatives will see the guide. Step eight, find and record the serial and service number. Frazzle tracks all assets by the bun serial number. The machine serial number is located on the right side of the machine on the bun manufacturing label. The number starts with a ULTR and has six numbers following it. You will need this number when reporting completed installations to Frazzle. Additionally, the retailer will need to know where this number is located when calling in for service. Show them where to find this number. These machines also have an asset tag with the service number on the machine. Please ensure the retailer knows where the service call number is located so that they can contact Frazzle without any problems. The following are examples of what it should look like when setup is complete. The display of the machine, signs, and cup racks should look professional. Make sure the sign is straight, cup rack slots are filled, and product is filled to the max fill line with no product outside the hopper. Do not put the bun warning stickers on the front decal. Take a picture of the completed signage, installed machine, and serial number. For installers of Frazzle machines, contact Bun Technical Services for technical issues during installation at 1-800-286-6345. If needed, get approval from Frazzle before proceeding with a repair per the not to exceed thresholds and process set with your company. Machines under warranty do not need Frazzle approval before proceeding. Machines that need to be swapped should be treated by the service provider like a reactive service call and scheduling to complete the open ticket should happen as soon as possible. If you have any challenges, dial 1-877-372-9455 and press five for machine service or zero for Frazzle customer service. Thank you for taking the time to properly install and train the retailers on the Frazzle program.